What's up, Street Thugs Brig here, and we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to set up your AverMedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus on OBS to an iPad. Before we jump into that, I just wanna say thank you for all everyone's support. We are almost at our goal of 1,000 subscriptions. If you would like to help out with that inaugural journey to 1,000 subscriptions, please hit the subscribe button. Very excited, almost there. Thank you guys, I appreciate all your support. We'll do a quick rundown with the AverMedia screen capture device. Very simple. The HDMI in connects from your device. HDMI out goes to your monitor. And then the other cable, which is the micro USB, goes from the back of the Aver Media to your computer. That is what's going to tell your computer what's on your monitor because you're not going to be directly connected your monitor to your computer. Now over here in OBS, you want to create a scene. So you're going to come over here to your sources. You're going to create a scene, whatever you want to call it. Come over here to sources. You're going to want to add the Aver Media. And this is going to be your video capture device, okay? And then once you have that set up, come over here to video capture device, create or select. I have mine set as just AverMedia. You can name it whatever you want to. AverMedia just works better so I can know what I'm identifying. Select AverMedia and then you come over here. You have AverMedia, go to properties and you wanna save it to the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, okay? Once you have that set up, you'll be good to go there. You also wanna create an audio output capture, an audio input capture, and of course your webcam. Your audio input is always going to be your microphone, whatever you're using. Your audio output is going to be coming from your device, whatever device you're connected with. So if you're on the iPad, it'll be connected, showing your, your screen to your iPad. Now, something to keep note, and there's a lot of common mistake that a lot of people make whenever they are recording on through Aver Media, through an external device like a PlayStation or a Switch or anything like that, they'll get echo through their mic. So whenever whatever audio input they've got going on, it'll echo. And here's the common problem. A lot of people will say you have to go get a, a sound splitter or something like that. Most common problem, you have a headset on that has a mic and it's picking up your mic as well. Mute the mic, that will solve that issue. If you have that on and you don't realize it, even if you don't use it, it's, it's, it's turned off and your, your microphone that you use, your standalone microphone is your default. It won't work. It'll actually pick up both because what's going to happen is when you set up your your microphone, the best way to hear the game is to plug your headset directly into the AverMedia. So it's going to pick up your sound. So if you have a mic on there, it's going to pick up your mic as well as give you sound through your headset. You have to manually mute your mic. Simple solution for your audio output. Make sure you have your your headset or your speakers, whatever you're using, selected as the option for default. If you are hooked up to the AverMedia, it might say AverMedia Gamer Portable Plus 2, and then make sure your audio input is your microphone. Okay, so now let's move on to the actual connecting of the iPad. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is a AV digital adapter. There are a lot of options out there. You can buy some for $10, $15, $30, and then, the, then you have the Apple one, which is the Lightning, and it's about 50 bucks. Buy the $50 one. The other ones do not work. They don't have the licensing paid that a lot of HDMIs have built into it. You will not be able to use it, or it's just not going to work in general. So if you're connecting to your device, now you connect the HDMI in to the back of the AV adapter. The AV adapter connects to your device in the iPad in this case. Once you have your iPad hooked up, everything should be golden, should be coming up a screen. But it doesn't. You end up getting a pop-up window that says that your HDCP is blocking everything, which is high definition copyright protection. That is the licensing agreement that most HDMIs do not have, especially the generic ones. So if you're using the Aver Media, there's a very simple solution. You go to RE Central and you download the RE Central 4. It's like a portable window, device window. And that's what this looks like right here. So once you have this downloaded, it is an Aver Media product, so it is safe. You download this, you're gonna have this window here, you're gonna go up here to the settings, click that, and then come down here to the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, which is your device, click on it, and then you just, you turn this off. Very simple, just like that. This is actually what the screen tells you to do. It may sound confusing if you don't know what RE Central is, and you might start going through your iPad, going, where is RE Central? That's what this is. Go to RE Central 4, download the application, and then turn off the HDCP. Once you do that, it will work. You may have to plug, unplug it and plug it back in, but it's going to work. And from that point, you can record through OBS like normal. One of the downsides though is 
you will not be able to use that monitor. So you are going to need two monitors to do this because the monitor you set up to your device will not be connected directly to your computer. One less monitor or one monitor if you only have two. So you will need to keep that in mind. So hopefully that helps you out. I tried looking for a video to help me set up my OBS with my Avermedia Live Gamer Portable Plus 2 along with my iPad. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything in YouTube or videos or anything searching for hours to figure out how to get it to work. Eventually it just came up to the pop-up it gave me and then I eventually found it. So this video is designed to help you guys out so you don't have to struggle like I did. So hopefully that helps somebody. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Remember to please hit the subscribe button. We're almost to our goal. 1000 is just around the corner. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. I truly deeply do. I will also leave a link to the RE Central 4 in the description so you can guys can click on it and go directly there. But thank you guys again. I will see you again soon. Stay golden and take care. Bye bye.